Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the music on records inside of Minecraft. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. And for more Minecraft videos, check out my channel. All right, well, let's get to it. Minecraft has this jukebox, which you can place into your scenes, and you can then put records into that jukebox and play those records. I'll just take a record here and then right click on the jukebox and it puts it in. Notice how you see the name of the record down there below also as I put that in. There's a new one right there. There's the name. Put it in and then it plays. I'm going to move the microphone over to the speaker so you can hear these different records play. Let's just grab that one right here. Okay, now when you walk away from the jukebox, the sound gets quieter the further you get away. And I'll show you that. Let me just switch back around to POV view again, and I'll put the record back in, and then I'll walk away after putting the speaker up next to the microphone, and you'll hear it fade out as I move away and then fade back in as I come back in again. Okay, so that's how the records work in that jukebox. Now there are three things going on here. One is getting your own record into the jukebox. That's fairly straightforward. The second one is getting that fade out effect. That's also fairly straightforward. The third one is to change the name of the record that displays when you put it in the jukebox. That's a little bit trickier, but I'll show you how to do all three pieces of that. We'll start off by setting up a folder structure to place our records into, and I'll switch over to the desktop for that. Here we are, and I have open a list of all of the sounds inside of Minecraft and the folder structure for those sounds right there. Now the records are way at the bottom of this list. Let me just scroll way down to the bottom like that, and then I'll go back up just a little bit. And here we go. Here are the record sounds right there. It's this one little section here. We have our different record names right over here, and then here is the folder structure for those. We'll need this to set up our assets folder. Okay, so go over here. I already have one set up here. I'm going to just delete this folder. We'll do this from scratch. I'll right click and I'll just delete that. There we go. Start off by making a new folder in here. So new folder and call it assets. Okay, open that one up. Make a new folder in here. And let me just move this over like this a little bit and I'll pull this so you can see that path I'm making right over in there. There we go. So inside of this, we're inside the assets folder. Make a new folder in here for Minecraft. There we go. Open that one up. Make a new folder in here for sounds. There it is. Open that one up and make a new folder in here for records. Inside of this is where we'll put our new record files. Now when you put your own sounds in here, they have to be the same file names as we have over in this list. We'll be referring back to this list as we do that. Now you need to find your sounds. I've already found a few and I have them right here under music files. I just grabbed a few things off of the YouTube library, just kind of at random, a bunch of instrumental stuff in here. And we'll take one of these and convert this into a new record. I'll use that one right here, the Minecraft Sounds Records 13.ogg. These are OG file records. Now to do this, you first need to find your records. I'll use this Arkansas Traveler. It's kind of loud and noisy. Let's see if we can get this to play here. So it's pretty easy to hear that one. So we'll use that, and we'll use this to replace that 13.og. Okay, now we need to open this up in a sound editing program. I happen to like using Audacity, so I'll just bring that one up. There we go, and let's open up that sound file. Open, and I have it right. That's right there, Arkansas Traveler, and choose Open. Now it's a standard MP3 file, and you, as you can see here, it's in stereo. This is the first thing we need to fix. This has to be in mono, very important. So you need to blend this down to a mono track. Inside Audacity, that's just using tracks and come down to mix and mix stereo down to mono. There it is, it's now a mono track. The reason for that is for that fade out effect. 
As you walk away from the jukebox, it fades out. The sound has to be mono for that to work. If you have a stereo sound, it'll be full volume anywhere you are in the whole world. So you want to get rid of it. It has to be mixed down to a mono track. Okay, that was our first part. Second, it has to be in that .ogg format or the .og file format. So we'll go ahead and we'll just export this to the .og format. File, come down to Export, and Export as OGG. It'll export this back into the same location, which is right here in Music Files. But what I need actually is to have this inside of our Sounds folder. There's the Assets folder we made. Just move in here into the records right there. And I'll put it at that location and save. I'll leave all this stuff as is. Just leave it alone. Choose OK. It's then converting the MP3 format file into the AUG format file. All right, that's all we have to do as far as sound editing goes. I'll go ahead and I'll close down Audacity. There we go. Let's now come back out here to our records folder. There's the assets. Go inside of assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of sound and records. And there is our new file with the .og format. Now, for this to work inside of Minecraft, this has to be named the same as the record that we're replacing. In this case, it's just 13 right there. So easy to do. I'll just click on this, right click, rename, and I'll rename that 13. Hit the Enter key, and there we go. It now has that name over here. Now, at this point, I can go ahead and put this into Minecraft, and it will play this record. So it's pretty easy to do that. Go over here to Records. So I just need to then compile this along with my standard pack.mc meta file and my pack.png file right here. This is just an icon file. Combine those three together into a zip folder, put that over into the resource packs folder, and I could then load that in and it would then play that record. But it won't show the name of that record correctly when I play it inside of Minecraft. So we need to fix that as well. That's the trickier part of this whole process. For that, we need to add in a JSON file from our current version of Minecraft. So let's go back over here to Assets, open that up, open up Minecraft, and right in here, we'll be copying over a JSON file. It'll be in a folder called Lang. So I'll make a new folder, and it's just L-A-N-G, short for language. Right here, let's open that one up, and we're going to be copying over that new file in here. I'll be bringing up now a standard drive window, and we'll navigate to where you'll find the file that we need. Here we go, we're inside of the this PC folder. Up here in the address bar, just type in percent app data percent. Hit the enter key. That takes you into the roaming folder right here. The Minecraft folder is at the very top of that list. There it is, open this up, and then come down to versions right there. Open that one up as well. And then in here, find the version that you're currently running. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here, a lot of those snapshots and pre-release versions and so forth. But the current full release version is right here, 1.15.2. So let's open that one up. And then we need to open up this jar file right there. Now you can open this up with a standard zip program. I tend to use 7-zip for this. I'll just right click and come down here to 7-zip, which I have installed here. And I'm just going to be opening this. I'm not going to be extracting it, just opening it. So I can just see what's inside. Now in here, open up Assets, open up Minecraft, and then right here, there's your Lang folder right there. Open that one up, and you'll see in here a file that's called en underscore us dot json. Just drag that over into your other location. That's just going to copy it over. You see it's still sitting over here inside this zip file. Okay, we're done with this one. I'll just close that down, and I'll just get that out of the way. So I now have this file open or saved over here inside of my new Minecraft resource pack folder. We now need to open this one up. I have my JSON files automatically open up in Notepad. If you don't have that, just right click, come down to Open With, and then you can choose what program you want to use to open it up. Again, I have mine in Notepad. If you don't see Notepad in here, just click on More Options and find it. You should see it in this longer list. Okay, I'll open this one up. Now in here, it's a whole lot of coding in here about what things are named and where things are found. It's all stuff you don't want to be messing up with any of this stuff except for changing the names of those records. That's all we have to touch in this. Now I have a couple of files in here that will help us do this process. You can download these files from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. Here's my second reference file. The first one, of course, is over here. We've already looked at that one. This is our second reference file in here. And this gives you the name of file, the name of the sound file the color of the disk inside the game, this is the yellow disk, and the name of the disk right there. This is the important part right here. It says music underscore disk underscore 13. Let's copy this name, right click and copy. I'll go over here to this JSON file and do edit, find, 
and in here right click and paste so there's that name of that disk choose find it then finds that so here's all of our records are right down here now there are two sets in here the first set is just the name of the record file see right there it's item minecraft music disk 13 it's just kind of a name of that that's the first set of stuff right below that you'll see a second set of names in here there's one of them right there item minecraft music disk cat description d e s c right there you want to find the description for that disk 13 and it's going to be down in here someplace and it's actually it's right there so there it is disk 13.desc this is the name of that record and that's right there so you want to rename this it could be anything you want to call it that's fine There you go, Arkansas Traveler. I just renamed that one. And then File, Save. And that's all you have to do to change the name that's displayed inside of Minecraft. Now don't change anything else in this file or this is not going to work. Only change just the name. And again, look for the disk you're fixing and look for the DESC file. And then the name is right after that. That's the part you wanna change for the name between those two quotation marks. Don't touch anything else or it's not going to work. Okay, so double check, file, save, that's fine. Get that out of the way. Now if you're doing multiple disks, just do the exact same thing but for each one of your disks. Replace each disk with the proper name, which we already did, and then replace the name inside of that JSON file, which you just took care of. So there we go. This now back up, there's Minecraft, Assets, back to our records. Okay, in here, we now need to take this Assets and turn this into a standard resource pack, but it's a minimized resource pack. This only includes the record files, which is just fine. So here's our assets. Now to make a resource pack, you also need to have your pack.mc meta file and your pack PNG. This is just a graphics image right there, just a PNG file at 256 by 256. It could be anything you want, it doesn't matter. The pack.mc meta up here has to have this exact code if you're working in version 1.15, it has to be format 5. Earlier versions have different numbers, so make sure you're using the right number on that. The description can be anything you want. I just have my named custom records. You can put anything you want in there. I have all this stuff downloadable from my website, so if you wanted to just download it there and work off of mine as a base, that'll save you a lot of time. Okay, so choose the Assets folder. I'll hold the control key down, click on my pack.mc meta and my pack.png. There we go. Right click, and I'll just put these together using 7-zip and add to archive. Now it's going to put these into an archive that matches the name of the folder that they're in right now. It says records up there. I'm just going to change the name here to custom records. There we go, custom records with an underscore. And then choose OK. And it's going to zip all that together and give me a new zip file right there. That's my new resource pack. Okay, now we can place this resource pack into the resource pack folder in Minecraft and we should be all set to go. Two ways to do that. One way is to go back to your file list which you brought up with that percent app data percent. Let me bring that up. There it is, I'll just back up a little bit here. Here's our Minecraft folder right there. And in here, you'll find your resource packs right there. Open that up and then copy this over into this folder location. I'll also show you how to get to this folder from inside of Minecraft as well in just a second. So I'll take this, I'm just gonna right drag this over, right mouse button, drag and copy. I always copy instead of just drag and drop because I wanna have the original over here just in case I wanna change things in the future. So there we go, we now have it inside of our resource pack folder. All right, let's just close all this stuff out of the way here, get it out of the way. Okay, here we are back at the game menu inside of Minecraft. You want to go into Options right here, and then Resource Packs right there. Now you should see your new resource pack over here on the left-hand side. There it is. Now I said you could also open up that folder from inside Minecraft. That's right down here, Open Resource Pack Folder, and there it is again right there. Same thing that we did with that percent app data percent. Okay, get that out of the way. So we have it in our available resource packs. Now just click on that arrow right here. It puts it over here at the top of our resource packs on the right-hand side. You can have stacked resource packs. That's why you can have a minimized or optimized resource pack and it will work out just fine. 
my spacesuit pack, for instance, just has just my spacesuit in it and nothing else. Just a texture pack with just that one spacesuit. The way Minecraft works is it reads your bottom one first, it takes everything out of here, it then reads out of here, it then reads out of there, and it works up the list that way. Each one is overriding what's down below if it has any changes. So you can do these minimized packs and it makes things real easy. Okay, we're all set. Click on Done. Let this reload Minecraft. There it is. Click on Done again and back to game. And I'll switch my view around and let's play that record and see how it sounds. There we go. Now we change to the yellow disc right here. Let's just click on that. And there's our name down there playing Arkansas Traveler. Let me bring the speaker to the microphone. You can hear that one. And let's shut that off. There you go. So it's actually very easy to do once you've done this a few times. It goes pretty fast. So that's how you can change what plays on the records inside of Minecraft. You can change all the records if you want to. You have, I think, about 12 that you can actually change to different songs. And it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Once you've done this once, it actually goes very quickly. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon a couple of times to get notifications of my new videos and take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. And I'll see you next time.